Hey y'all, we're in my garage. This is the view from the, when the ramp's down. I've got blackout curtains because the sun sets right here. So it is extremely bright. Um, this is how the back end of my camper ends. It's got the screen doors that meet together. Like I said, I've got the blackout curtains. Just try to keep some shade in there. Uh, there's the neighbors, dogs. Uh, Jessie was somewhere out here on this line. I don't know where she's at at this moment, but uh, she's somewhere out there. But yeah, the ramp comes down, it's all metal. And then you come into the garage. And uh, my sewing machine's all set up. And um, then I've got the, sorry for the motion, my apologies. And then I got the workbench. Now I wanna show you something, guys. I decided that this quilt needed a border. So what I did is I took all the pieces that were leftover scrappy stuff and made them into one giant long piece. But I had several, I had about two, four, six pieces that were normally long because they were the white pieces that I did not use. So I, it gave me this border. I just sewed them together and I did the first border. And then the second border is done with all the scrap pieces. I'm so sorry about the shaky camera. I don't have a pop socket on this one, so it's a little bit rough. But um, the the border, it's some, it's a lot of matchy spots. But honestly, I don't really care. Um, I think the border really has made it really really frame it in really well um and like i said it does matchy match a little bit but honestly i'm not about to undo it and redo it I, i'm just not this thing is huge it easily goes from one side of my garage to the other and i have a 10 by 10 garage so um actually i've got the tape measure here let me see if i can do this one-handed I know y'all are going to have to have a lot of motion. And I know that bothers some of y'all, so that's why I do apologize for that. And, um, because some of y'all are motion sick, and I and I respect that. Um, but sometimes I just can't make it work. So, let's see. We're looking at close to 70 inches wide. I don't know it, how many feet that is, because I didn't look, but... It's a big girl. She's a big quilt. Now I'm going to take it over to the storage unit. Well, here's how it's going to go down. I'm got to, I've got to get a bed sheet for the back of it. That's what I use, whether I can find it at Goodwill or maybe Walmart has them on clearance. I don't know. Um, if I do buy bed sheets from Goodwill, I do wash them before I put them on there because Goodwill does not wash anything they get. So I do wash stuff before I get the Goodwill and uh, sanitize it really well and then I'll put it together. Um, so I do have a little bit of this border left over and I wanted to show it to you real quick and then um, I will let you go about your day. Um, what I did is just took pieces and just started sewing them together. Excuse me. And then I've still got all of that left over. So I'm going to save that for a crumb quilt. And uh, kind of go from there. Now there were some questions of why don't I have any backing on my embroidery squares? Well the answer to that is yes I do. Because um, there's been a couple of questions about that. And I, I want to answer that. This is what I use. It's called Tearaway Stabilizer. It is a stabilizer. I'll let you uh, take a look at that right there. And it does go on the back and then it just rips off as you can see the border here. It just rips off. It's it's fairly thin, but it, there is stabilizer back there, guys. Um, I just didn't willy nilly it. Uh, so I wanted to let y'all know that, uh, that that's, that is happening back there. Um, I just tear, tear it away to where, you see, it's still on there a little bit, but it does have a stabilizer to it. 
So maybe that'll answer some of that questions there. Um, I can't think of any other questions I had that somebody had asked. So um, that's all I've got for right now. Um, I hope y'all have enjoyed this quilt. It's been really fun to do. And I do not look forward to putting it together because y'all that know me, that been with me for a while, know I cannot stand putting quilts together. I hate it so much. It takes the joy out of everything. And um, I've got the batting. I'm gonna go get the sheet. And then I guess I'm gonna tie it. I don't really wanna tie it, but I don't really have much options because there's no way I can shove that through the machine and um honestly if i tried to machine quilt it it would look stupid because there's so much white space here you could see every stitch and so i don't want to do that you're going to see the ties definitely because i think what i'm going to do is probably a tie 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 and then one in the corner middle and do it five square because i don't know what else to do because it's got to be tied i think i think the rule of the thumb is is this far apart so I wish I could just tie it here on these, but you've got to put something here. Unless I do a tie here and a tie here and a tie here and a tie here and then one in the middle. Um, either way, it's going to look like crap, uh, but it's going to be a labor of love and maybe somebody can appreciate the labor of love crap. <laughs> so anyway, guys, thank y'all so much for watching. I do appreciate it and uh, hopefully... I will get this together pretty soon. Bye, y'all.